Action. I play Halima, and Halima is the lead in Giddy Culture, and she is a spoiled, rich Nigerian kid. She's from a very wealthy family. She has spent most of her life schooling abroad, and at the point that you meet her, she is studying in New York. Somehow, she manages to burn down her apartment, so she comes to Nigeria to have a meeting with her parents and sort of discuss what's going to happen now that she's burned down her apartment, and she's supposed to be here for just one weekend. But then again, somehow she manages to have a huge, a huge fight with her mother. Her mother gets really upset and burns her passport, her ticket and everything. And pretty much says, you are moving to Nigeria and you're going to live here. Through six degrees of separation, she meets a bunch of other characters that you get, that you get to meet as well. And it's really much about how she adapts to her new environment and interacts with these other characters. I'm playing a character called Friday in Giddy Culture. And uh, well, Friday is from a humble background. He's someone who has made up his mind to make it. And so he had to break from the shackles of um, his protective parents. He's been in Lagos for like, what, 10 years and he's mastered the art of survival. Kazim is a very interesting character. He's um, your average working class guy. He's your average boy next door, lives on his own. Oh, he has a roommate as well. He works very hard to, to take care of his mom. And he's one of those working class dudes who's very, very overworked, but you know, highly underpaid. The name Giddy Culture itself actually means home. I know a lot of people think it means Lagos or Nigeria, but it actually means home. So Giddy Culture means home culture. Giddy Culture basically chronicles the lives of a group of young adults in their 20s. And we have them, you know, we have the different classes. We have the upper, we have the middle, and we have the lower class. How they interact and how they encounter problems and how they surmount it or don't surmount. One of my favorite things about Giddy Culture is it's a very nice story. It's a very interesting story. It's a very um, entertaining story. It's also an engaging series because you're going to have viewers from the different classes who can identify with the characters. Giddy Culture is different because it touches the heart. It's not, it tugs at your heart like, you know, you would find a character that you can relate to. Play the role of Sebastian da Silva, a rich young guy from Niger Delta. Confident, outspoken, mild womanizer, you know. Um, he gets angry when he needs to. Not really in good terms with his father, but you know, he's a great dude, average Nigerian guy. Amina Issa is um, best friends with um, Halima. Halima is the lead character, and um, they grew up together and uh, studied abroad for a while, but then she came back to the country to start a career as a copywriter at an advertising firm. I played a role undertaker in the Giddy culture. Undertaker is a very serious character. I am the driver to the Adebayo's family, and I do take care of most of their security concerns. Umi is a character that um, has been staying with the, or has been living with the Ladi family, so she knows their in and out, everything about them. Kaliba, the daughter of Mariam, I was her babysitter, or if I should say, I'm her babysitter because I'm still living with them and I'm still with her. I play the character of Tunde in Giddy Culture. Tunde is that kind of character that you can have in almost every neighborhood. He's a very wonderful person, very funny, easygoing. He has a roommate, and that's Kazim. The one thing I like about them is that they are very close, they respect each other a lot, you know. Although they do different jobs and different things, but they like themselves and they're just, they're, they're, just, they're just cool roommates. In Giddy Culture, I play the role of um, Rachel. She comes from a very, very humble background. Uh, because of pressure from home, she you know, puts herself in a situation where um, she's exposed to um, all sorts of societal ills because she's come to believe that the only way she can advance you know, in life is by using what she has to get what she needs play the role of Junior in Giddy Culture. I'm Halima's cousin, he's from a very rich background. He's, he's just a normal secondary school kid, trying to get a girlfriend, trying to be cool, 
you know. <laughs> but you know, he, he just passes through the phases and challenges of every normal secondary school kid. Miriam is um, she's a very no nonsense person. She's very strict. At the point where we meet Miriam, Miriam is should I say at loggerheads with her daughter because her daughter has burned down her apartment in New York and she basically punishes her. Miriam is separated from her husband, so we kind of get the sense that she's bitter. I uh, play the role of Mr. Laulo Adebayo in the series Giddy Culture. He's Halima's father in the series. He's a man who has a lot of love for his daughter. Sometimes that love gets in the way of proper discipline for a child. Working with Giddy Culture has been a memorable one very memorable for me especially because I came from Port Harcourt for all the audition process. Working on the Giddy Culture set has been very enlightening because it's been very different because they had this thing where they kept it very simple but yet very professional. It just felt like a group of friends coming together and saying oh let's make a movie. Ever since I started shooting Giddy Culture I think I've I got better with my acting and you know my confidence. What really stood out for me working with this people working with the Giddy Culture production team was the way they would go out of their ways to see that they are, you know, with their crew and the, the cast members are comfortable. They produced a very, 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 you know, conducive atmosphere for work. Watching Giddy Culture is like looking at yourself in the mirror. The characters are real. You can you can feel them. They're not far fetched. Giddy Culture is a wonderful that you cannot predict where it is going to.